Dylan is worried there'll be another blowout, so he's told his dad he can't come to Mackenzie's party on Sunday. Boo! What are you doing here, Mackenzie? Say hello. I feel bad, though, because I don't want to upset Dylan's mum. Look at all them pretties. She's helping me plan the party, and I still want her and Dylan's brother, Dexter, to come. I'm just looking for a birthday cake. <laughs> sort of like that. Oh, OK. Bikes on there. Bikes on there, yeah, lovely. Been thinking about Sunday. OK. I think we won't come, yeah. but if you want, we're doing a party thing our Saturday, so you can all come. Yeah, you can if you want to. Yeah. It'd be nice for you to be there, but it's just Dean that I was worried about. That's what I mean, and I know. Dylan really spoke to him. But, then but you, you and Dexter are fine. Do that, Mackenzie. Come to Nanny's over party, Prezies. On Saturday. Saturday. Nanny, do your tea. We'll talk to Dylan. See what he wants to do. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't want Mackenzie to have two parties, one for each family. Say bye. Bye. Right. See you later. This is turning out to be a right old mess. Somehow. Dylan will be gutted. Daddy, you right, pal? Right. Dylan has gone to talk it over with his mum. The pines. You want a little cuddle? You don't want a What's going on Saturday, then? Right, we're going to do the party thing here for him, Mackenzie. Yeah, but I'd just rather you and Dexter come to his party. Don't you why you wouldn't? Yeah, we're still coming. You want us to still come to that as well? So why do we need to do both? Because then Dad can be involved, can't he? I spoke to Dad nicely about it, and he wanted to start then, so that's that. Yeah. Dad just likes to cause a drama. It's not just... Yeah, but there's, how do you know he's cause drama? Because the people I've got going, he doesn't like. He needs to forget about it, or he can't come to family things, can he? <laughs> Megan was upset when you weren't coming. My... Well, we're all coming Saturday, but you might as well still come to his party. Otherwise, you're not going to see him on his birthday. Yeah, Midday's will still come then. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Let's go. Today is the big day. I can't believe it. My baby boy, Mackenzie, is two years old. We're having a big party to celebrate in style. And Mackenzie is loving it. <laughs> is that good? Dylan's mum has come along and I'm really pleased about that. Happy birthday, dear Happy birthday to you. Clap. Keep going. Dylan's dad wasn't allowed to come, but it's still really awkward with Dylan, his mum and Big Mark. They've hardly spoken. If I pretended I was dead, Macy's here. Catch me but at least my mum appreciates how much Dylan has been doing for me recently. I can't expect you to make You're doing all right at the minute. Am I? Yeah. So I don't give you too much credit, all right? Don't get too big good. No, but you're doing you're doing good. You're doing good. Thank you. You're helping a lot with the children. You're going to work, you're doing everything you should be doing. It's all good. At the minute, think, don't let me down. I think Megan's getting better as well. Everything's going, going the right direction. My mum is being nice to Dylan. But Big Mark is another matter. Go, 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 go get mummy. He's still not forgiven Dylan for messing me around in the past. Um, have you spoke to Dylan yet? Have I spoke to him? No. Do I need to speak to him then? No. Okay then. It would be nice if you would like talk normally, though. No, oh, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Let's see how he behaves. I hope one day Big Mark can forgive Dylan like I have and see how much he's changed. The main thing is that both Mackenzie's parties went off without any blazing arguments and I felt happy all day. Oh, thank you. Thank you.